uh, one more challenging problem we have in a carrom board competition m boys and n girls of a school where m is greater than n is greater than 1 participant in which every student has to play one game with other out of the total games played it was found that 221 games one uh, player was a boy and other was a girl consider the following statements and we have to check the validity of these statements whether one or two is correct or not right how many of them are correct or maybe nothing is correct okay so for that um, first of all let's see see there are m boys and n girls okay and in all in 221 games one player was a boy and other was a girl now that means out of m boys one boy will be chosen in mc1 ways and one girl will be chosen in nc one ways right so in all m into n games will be there and this m into n is nothing but 221 one boy and one girl out of m boys we are selecting one boy out of n girls we are selecting one girl right so we'll be getting total m into n combination which is given to us as 221 now definitely 221 is a weird number actually it is 13 into 17 that is 221 since it is not multiple of 3 4 5 so you just have to check so uh, you will be getting it is actually 13 into 17 if you divide it by 13 you'll get 17 so precisely it is 13 into 17 now 13 into 17 is 221 now out of them which one is m and which one is n we we, we do not get any other combination of uh, from where we get multiplication as 221 since 13 and 17 both of them are prime numbers you can cannot get any other factors of 221 okay the only other option is 1 into 221 but both boys and girls are more than one that's already given so we are left with just one combination now which of them is m and which of them is n that we have to find out now we are already given that m is greater than n that means m is 17 and n is 13 that means 17 boys and 13 girls that's pretty sure right so if 17 boys are there 13 girls are there that means in all there are 30 students so this statement is correct okay now number of games in which both player were girls now if both the players were girls that means from these 13 students these are girls from these 13 girls two girls are selected for this uh, for these games right so for the for the games when both the player are girls there will be 13 c2 ways so 13 c2 is 13 into 12 by 2 so that is 78 right so definitely there will be 78 games in which both the player were girls so this statement is also correct similarly if you have to find out that how many games were there in which both the players were boys so that is 17 c 2 okay obviously we don't have to calculate it over here but i'm just telling you how to calculate that right so precisely total m boys n girls out of m boys we are selecting one out of n girls we are selecting one so in all we are getting m into n ways so m into n ways represents total number of games which is 221 so we are just left with one combination that is 17 into 30 that produces 221 right now obviously m is greater than n that means 17 boys will be there 13 girls will be there so in all 30 students so this statement is correct if we have to find out in how many games both the player were girls so both the, the candidate should be chosen from 13 since there are 13 girls so in all there are 13 c2 combination so that comes up to 78 so the statement is also correct okay so a nice problem you should be conceptually clear uh, with uh, permutation and concept combination okay